Hello, this is Lolly. I am back with part 14 of my December daily binder process. But today, instead of going forward and doing my next day, I want to revisit this uh, because this needs something. And this is not even a pocket. That is glued on there. Um, and I knew that I was planning on putting a photo or a card, journaling card here. But still, I want something else. So I was looking at this. A friend of mine had given me these beautiful cutouts and it's just gorgeous. So what I was thinking was I could laminate it, but then I'd have to leave a big border around there. So what I think I'm going to do instead is to use self sticking laminating sheets and don't really need this much. So I'll lay that flat. With these, because they stick so well, you don't have to leave a big margin all the way around it. When I use self-adhesive laminating sheets, and you could use clear contact paper, I sort of bend it in the middle and put it down and then fold it out. I'm still holding one piece up for a reason, and that's so it'll be easy to pick it up off of my mat. So now I've got that. And I don't have any other scraps here that would be big enough, so I'm going to cut one about the same size here. I am being a little hasty, so I'm not making them very straight. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Peel that off. Same thing, I'm going to bend it, sort of bend it in the middle and do that. And I'm pushing from the inside out. Okay, so we've got this. Now I'm going to trim that down. And I can get right up against that scallop. I could leave a lip on this, but I think I'm not going to. Okay, so I trimmed that really close, and um, I could have left a border so I would have a, a room to punch a hole, but I think I'm going to punch a hole down here anyway, even though it will uh, kind of interfere with the Merry Christmas. I could do it at an angle to, you know, punch it maybe like right here. I might even do that, like right there. So here's what I'm thinking. I want to put a hole in this. And I've done this before with pocket letters where I've hung a charm on there. So here's what I'm thinking is that I'll punch a hole here and there. And the question is, if you've never done this before, I'm going to pull this out to make this a little easier. It is hard to punch a hole in these things <laughs> because they're kind of rubbery. So. It, however, if you put a piece of paper with it, then it makes it a lot easier. And I think I just want like regular paper instead of this paper. This is kind of waxy. I just want a piece of scrap paper. So hold on. Okay. So a piece of paper sandwiched against that makes it so much easier to punch the hole. Let's see if I can still see my... Uh, I can. I can still see my little mark there that I had. So once I got that sandwiched in there... It punches so much easier in spite of the fact that this is so rubbery and the next thing I want to do is to punch this one okay now I'm gonna put eyelets maybe no, I don't I might not need to let's see I think I will because of the the pulling on that you know it might get some tugging on it so and I could do this, and I could just affix the two of them together like that. I was thinking of a ribbon, but if I just put them together, that will be just fine. I could still put a ribbon through it if I wish. Um, I'm just saying I don't have to tie them together with a ribbon and hope that that's the only thing that's going to hold them together. There. There we go. And see, it still spins. And I still might hammer it out a little bit on the back. This is very thin material that we're 
um, putting together here. I'm going to go hammer that. No, I'm good. I just used this one more time on it, and it's just fine. So what I have now, this little dangle here on the outside, and it just adds some more interest to that page right there. So, and I could still put a photo behind here, as you see, it would still work and you would still see it. So, and a journaling spot. And this spins out of the way because it's not that tight. I tightened it, but it's not. See what I'm saying? It still spins, so I could still move that out of the way and see my photo or my journaling card. So, let's put that back in its place here. I was just flipping through here and realizing how much that needed a little extra help. Okay, let's put these back together. So that was a quick video this time around. Um, I do think I will put a little bit of ribbon in there just because it would make it prettier. Well, I decided to live dangerously and get glitter all over myself. <laughs> I have this. There it is, but I can't get to it. So let's keep trying. There, I just pulled it down. Now I can see. Okay, wish me luck. I'm trying to think. Um, whew. Oh my goodness, my project is covered in glitter. I'm going to like accordion fold this, so to speak. Gather it up. I'm sure I cut way too much. There we go. Woo. And I'm not even going to do the, the knot, I don't think. I think I'm just going to do it like this. Yes, this is coated in glitter now, <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> Which reminds me, I have to show you this. I ordered this uh, print a while ago. It says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes, and the word sparkle didn't even sparkle, so I had to add gold glitter to it. Um, but I love that. Okay, so now you can see how much more interest this piece has than it did before. Okay, and it added more... Um, more thickness and chunkiness and it added some more interest to the top here because my little bow is poofing up there. Thank you for watching. My next one, next installment should be working on my next page for this.